Yo, what's up? Hi. Welcome to a special edition of Unboxing the Box. Today we're going to be unboxing every kid's dream. Into my other car, my other car is a BMW. Yeah. <laughs> Drum roll, please! Whoa! It's a real life size car. It's as big as me. Huge. Wait, what's this? Oh my god. <gasps> For some reason, <laughs> what happened? I ordered two. <laughs> um. This is going to be so much fun. All right, so this is made by Abigail. It's 22 kg, ages three to six. Whoa! It's a freaking BMW. I remember when I was about maybe four years old. Yeah. I got um, the best gift I've ever gotten. It was a, a robot this size and it, its lights flashed. And in my imagination, I thought it was like real and I thought it could walk around Aww. and I thought they can fire missiles to defend me against my older brothers who used to bully me. I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Wow. And what I ended up doing is um, closing the lights and trying to turn on the lights and I walked into it and it was damaged permanently. Did you break it? Yeah, shoddy construction. I was mm. heartbroken. We're a poor family, so we couldn't replace it. And um, I was sad for a long time. Aww. But I remember how happy I was yeah. when, when I got the gift and, and how my mind was blown. So I'm hoping something like this will... It's going to be awesome. Do you know what? I remember when I was a kid, we used to have these little toy cars, which were like motor rides. You have the battery. And we used to fight over who would play, who would play with it on the road. And we used to have like little squabbles because we only had one between us. But yeah, I remember thinking like, this is the coolest thing ever. And I'm a girl and I was playing with a toy car. And I turned out to be a girl, so it's fine. I mean, let, me, let me just check out the specs here. Okay, this, this is awesome. This looks really cool. This is so cool. What have you got? So it says maximum total, maximum total weight is 35 kg. Working LED headlights, realistic dashboard, six volt battery, sounds. <gasps> sounds? Does it really have a sound? <laughs> That's so cool. We're going to walk you through on how to unbox one of these and how to assemble them because there is some assembly required. There's a spanner right there showing and a screw. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But I'm hoping mm. as an engineer <laughs> and a doctor, we should be able to figure it out. Famous last words. Three, two, one. Go! Push harder! Push harder! Push! Pull. You got the seat, there's two wheels. I've got the front wheels, Woo! And then over in the front, we've got the steering wheel, the axles. Now these are the alloys or something, what is that? The alloys. Yeah, and then we've got some instructions. All right, so a Vigo BMW i8 Concept Spider with a wide manual instruction booklet. So the first page has got the contents, which is quite uh, hefty, quite a lot of stuff in there. And then it goes on to pictorial, um, manual instructions of how to assemble the car. So we're following that through and it's got six steps, maybe, a bit more. And then here you've got the um, assembly like warning things in different languages and actually I think there's not much else after that. So the time now is uh, say nine o'clock. Let's see how long this is going to take us to build. Step one. Okay, you need to now assemble the front wheels, the blue wheels, okay, 
However, the first step to do, you can unwrap them, but you need to put a washer on each side of these things. Where do you get the washer from? It's in one of these bags. Whee! So I'll put the washer in first. So where it says front wheel, you put it in, inwards towards that. And put the second washer. So this is the snap pin. And it goes in. You just slot in. You just slot in, slide in. I'm not sure how to do this one. I didn't think that was right, you know. Okay, I think I did it. I've done it. How did you do it? You just slide it through the hole. Okay, so this is the snap pin. It's got two um, sides. One is straight and one is bendy. Inside the metal part over here, you've got one hole that feeds from one side to the other. Um, so after you put on your washer, you need to just slide the straight end through the two holes and then leave the bendy side on the outer side of the, the metal and just push it through. So, it's quite fiddly, but look, if you see how I'm pushing it in, and the hole is over here somewhere, and you just push it. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. These are nice. It's like a proper car. I feel like we're properly like building a car. These are very fragile. Okay. The wheel itself has in inserts here. It's where the, the hubcats would lock in. Sorry? Oh, these are hubcats. Meow. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. And you just kind of force it in. So they have inserts, so you just align the edges with the inserts. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And you just shove it in. Mm-hmm. You just have to really push it. Each corner. I mean, I wouldn't apply that much force. That's right, so it. You just have to shove it in there. Alright, so after you've done the front wheels, you've got to now do the back left wheel. You slide the big washer in. Then you slide in this circular device. Then you get the rear wheel. Okay, so now let's put the other washer on. And then put the clip strip on. So it's again this thing where you push it in, making sure not to hurt yourself. Okay, done. Okay. Another rear wheel. Do you need to put the washer on? You don't. Uh -huh. This one plugs straight into the motor. Ah, that's cool. So the problem we have at the moment is um the rod is too flush with the wheel, so I'm going to see if I can try to resolve that. Yep, the rod, I just, I'm just literally just pulling the rod and it's coming out. Nice one. Well done. Hey. Woo! There is actually one correct orientation for this. So you just, if it doesn't fit in, just rotate it slightly. It's done. So you pretty much just connect these cables together. You hear a nice click. All right, so if you struggle like I just did to put the steering wheel in, you might find that there's a little pin that needs screwing in. Well, screwing out first. Perfect.
perfect. And then you just tie it up again. There you go. All right, cool. So basically, on the seat, it's got a, a lock and an unlock. So sign here. So this is locked and this is unlock. So you switch it to the unlock position and you put it inside the hole that's inside here. There's one, and there's another, it's quite loud, and then this guy, you put it in, and you twist. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to press the bow button. Ready? Oh, the lights come Is it on. Turn on? Yeah, there's a gear shift. This is awesome, man. What do you do? Like, does it go forward? Oh, pedal. Yeah, was that the pedal? <laughs> so cool. Oh, it's going backwards. It goes reverse. <laughs> it goes backwards. Okay, this must be dry. Oh, no, 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 no. Dry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Never out the way! Whoa! That killed the teddy! a.m. It's taken us two hours to do this. Hopefully. I hope they're going to enjoy it. I hope it will, well, hopefully it will take you guys a lot less. Oh yeah. Because, you know, you've seen how it's done. It's true. But you know what? It's a work night and we better go to sleep soon. <laughs> it's gone. Alright, let's go. Thank you. I've got to wrap this up now. Oh man. Oh, my legs really hurt.